put away your calculators, your paper and pencil, and let's see if you can solve this simple math problem all in your head. All right, so here is the question. A farmer has 12 apples. He gives one fourth of the total away and then eats two. How many apples are left? All right, so once again, no materials other than your brain. But if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through the complete solution steps in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so once again, here is the problem, and there is no time limits, and there is no one way to do it. As long as you kind of figure this out all in your brain, that's what counts. So a farmer has 12 apples. He gives one-fourth of the total away and then eats two. How many apples are left? So let's walk through a couple different ways you can think about this problem. And uh, again, there is no one right way. As long as you get the answer, that's what counts. Now, because we are trying to solve this problem using mental math, we want to break this problem up in kind of small components, things that are going to be easy to focus on. So really, we are dealing with a two-part problem. So part one would be this part right here. A farmer has 12 apples. He gives one-fourth of the total away. So we need to figure out this amount right here. And then we can move on to part two, which is after the farmer eats two, how many apples are left? But we don't want to we don't want to be thinking about this part until we get this number right here. Okay, so a farmer has 12 apples. He gives one-fourth of the total away. So how many apples is he going to have left? Well, I'm going to show you kind of a visual way to think about this problem. But uh, irrespective of the way you thought about it, as long as you get the right answer, that's what counts. Again, we are talking about mental math. All right, so here's 12 apples. So what does it mean to take one-fourth of these apples away? Well, we need to kind of think about what does uh, what is one-fourth of 12. So what we have to do is take 12 and divide it by 4, right? So 12 divided by 4 is 3. So one-fourth or fourths here of 12 is going to be groups of 3. So here we have one-fourth which is three apples. So if we take three apples away from, which is of course one fourth, how many apples are left? Well, we have nine apples. So one fourth and one fourth is what? Well, that's two fourths or one half, which of course is six apples. Now, I don't think uh, most of you out here are going to visually think about the problem in this manner, but uh, if you need to, that's perfectly fine. Again, we're talking about mental math. As long as you can figure out these numbers in your head, that's what counts. But to figure out what one-fourth of 12 is, it's far easier to do the math. Okay, so one-fourth of 12 mathematically is this. It's one-fourth times 12. So we need to figure out how to multiply fractions. So this is multiplication here. So one-fourth one fourth times 12 or 12 over 1. So uh, what we have is this simple math uh, problem to do in our brain. So to multiply fractions, all you have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 1 times 12 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. So we have 12, div 12 divided by 4, excuse me, is 3. Okay, so if you give away 3 apples, that's 1 fourth of the total. All right, so now that we understand this part right here, a farmer has 12 apples he gives one-fourth of the total away, and one-fourth represents three. So now, you know, that I kind of think about this problem, I guess we can maybe think about a three-part problem, because now we have to take these three apples and take them away from these 12 apples, so that is nine, and then we'll deal uh, with this part of the problem, uh, how many apples are left after he eats two. But uh, we're going to talk about that in just one second, because first we're going to take a look at this. So before I finish up this video, take a quick second and hit that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, 
hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Now the math that we're doing in this problem is basic math and if you forgot all this stuff, no big deal. Let me recommend two courses and you can find links to these courses in the description of this video. My first is my Math Foundations course. This is a quick mini course on all things basic math. But if you want to take it a step further, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. In this course, I cover basic math, algebra, geometry, and even a little bit of trigonometry. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. So step one, again, was to put all of our focus and energy on figuring out how much is a one fourth of 12 apples, right? So if a farmer has 12 apples, he gives one fourth away. Of course, that's three. So uh, he's left with nine apples. So part two of this problem is how many apples remain after he eats two. So this is kind of the easy part, right? So if he eats two apples, uh, how many apples remain? Well, that's simply going to be nine minus two or seven apples. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right and use nothing but your brain, that is fantastic. You definitely get a happy face and an A plus any 100%. But, uh, you know, if you couldn't figure this out, no big deal. You know, a lot of these videos that I do are just uh, kind of, you know, uh, ways to challenge you in a fun manner, right? So I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad. If you couldn't figure this out in your brain, what's important here is that you understand the math. So if I gave you a piece of paper and pencil, well, certainly, hopefully, you know the math to get the right answer. But if you don't know uh, the math, well, that's something you can work on. Now, mental mathematics is something that you'll want to practice to get better at, right? So you, it's really kind of a, a challenge of um, focus and concentration. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.